Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for Sunday the 7th of November 2021, which is the third Sunday before Advent. This is morning prayer from Common Worship in the benefice of Chew Valley East, and today we are in the Lady Chapel of St Andrew's, Chewbank. If you wish to download the service from the Lakeside website, you will have seen the link at the beginning of this video. And once you've downloaded it, you can follow the service through and we say together the words in bold and we say the Psalms and the Canticles in a responsorial way, which means if I say the first verse, then you carry on with the second and the fourth, etc. So let us pray. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, ruler and judge of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of this age that is passing away, may the light of your presence, which the saints enjoy, surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day, and so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. We rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 65, verses 5 to 12. Wait on God alone in stillness, O my soul, for in him is my hope. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold, so that I shall not be shaken. In God is my strength and my glory. God is my strong rock. In him is my refuge. Put your trust in him always, my people. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. The peoples are but a breath. The whole human race a deceit. On the scales, they are altogether lighter than air. Put no trust in oppression. In robbery, take no empty pride. Though wealth increase, set not your heart upon it. God spoke once, and twice have I heard the same, that power belongs to God. Steadfast love belongs to you, O Lord, for you repay everyone according to their deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Reading from the prophet Jonah, chapter 3, verses 1 to 5, and verse 10. The word of the Lord came to Jonah, saying, Get up, go to Nineveh, that great city, and proclaim to it the message that I tell. So Jonah set out and went to Nineveh, according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceedingly large city, a three days walk across. Jonah began to go into the city, going a day's walk. And he cried out, Forty days more, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed God. They proclaimed a fast, and everyone, great and small, put on sackcloth. When God saw what they did, how they turned from their evil ways, God changed his mind about the calamity that he had said he would bring upon them, and he did not do it. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I am the Lord, your Holy One. 
the creator of Israel, your king. Thus says the Lord who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my chosen people, the people whom I formed for myself, that they might declare my praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Our second reading is from the Gospel according to St Mark, chapter 1, verses 14 to 20. After John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little farther, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat mending the nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaims your truth. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. You will guide us with your counsel, O God, and afterwards receive us with glory. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all the taters, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You will guide us with your counsel, O God, and afterwards receive us with glory. For our prayers of intercession, the response to the words, Father, by your Spirit, is bring in your kingdom. Father, by your Spirit, bring in your kingdom. We pray for the coming of God's kingdom. You sent your Son to bring good news to the poor, sight to the blind, freedom to captives, and salvation to your people. Anoint us with your Spirit. Rouse us to work in his name. 
Father, by your Spirit, bring in your kingdom. Send us to bring help to the poor and freedom to the oppressed. Father, by your Spirit, bring in your kingdom. Send us to tell the world the good news of your healing love. Father, by your Spirit, bring in your kingdom. Send us to those who mourn, to bring joy and gladness instead of grief. Father, by your Spirit, bring in your kingdom. Send us to proclaim that the time is here for you to save your people. Father, by your Spirit, bring in your kingdom. Lord of the Church, hear our prayer and make us one in mind and heart to serve you in Christ our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son was revealed to destroy the works of the devil and to make us the children of God and heirs of eternal life, grant that we, having this hope, may purify ourselves even as he is pure, that when he shall appear in power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so together we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, Bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>